Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. Do you need math as a software developer, as an app developer? Do you really need to use it on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, let's find out in this video. Most of the time, people, and especially those who are not developers themselves, put math and software development together. And I feel like that is not really good thing to do, because as software developers, we don't really use math all that often. And obviously, let me put a disclaimer here, it really depends on what kind of development you do. So I am going to tackle in this video the debunking of that you need math, advanced math, so to say, for really classic app development that most of the people are doing right now. If you are already a decent app developer, just ask yourself a question. When was the last time that you used advanced math in your projects? By advanced math, I mean something more than just multiplication, division and so on. I mean doing some really like crazy equations and uh, maybe I would say that quadratic equations and upwards are more of an advanced math. I really cannot even remember. When was the last time that I used quadratic equations? And they are not all that advanced, right? And I don't think that it's just because of the type of apps that I am making. Because in most apps, what you are doing is that you just communicate with some server, which has a database on it. You communicate through a REST API. And that's basically it. You store something somewhere and you, re you fetch it and you just uh, go through the data and then display it on the screen using some libraries which were already programmed for you and in those libraries there is the advanced math but you as a normal developer you most likely don't write that math because you depend on some other developers to write it with that said here comes the obvious point that uh, if you want to be making those libraries you need to know advanced math but let's be honest most of the people are not making libraries most of the people are only using those libraries in their projects but at the same time most of the schools and colleges make a real emphasis on learning advanced math so derivations integrals and all of that and even more advanced some and sorry if i mess this terminology up because i am not learning math in english i am from slovakia but you know those things where you have to write like a few page long proof that something is really true in math you are never going to probably use those skills that you need in order to write some mathematical proof in your day-to-day -day app development like let's, let's be real right it's not possible because in app development you are not doing that kind of math. On the other hand, it may enhance your thinking ability, that's for sure. But saying that you need to know math in order to be an app developer is just complete bullshit. School doesn't equal real app developers' life, day-to-day -day experience. It would be much better for app developers, for future app developers, to focus on learning the fundamentals, on learning the proper architecture of your apps, how to test your apps and how to write modular code, how to publish your code, how to work with clients because that is also really crucial and even how to teach other people like I am doing with my tutorials because by teaching others you are going to learn so much more than just uh, by learning on your own and you can check out a separate video on that, why that works like that from this card in the corner because if you teach someone you are going to more learn much quicker than if you just learn yourself that's a fact besides writing libraries there are also some areas in which you may need more math than in others because even though you have libraries even in game development and when you are doing just really like low level animations for some front end frameworks you may have some libraries in there, but anyway, you are going to need more of the math because if you are writing games, you will need to know something about vectors and how to work with vectors in three-dimensional space and all of that. The same goes for animations. If you want to write your own animations and not just work with something which was already pre-programmed, 
And also the same goes for writing AI without uh, any kind of like libraries, because if you want to build your own AI, your own neural networks, you probably need to know a bit of quite advanced math in order to do that. So what's the point of this video after all? You don't need advanced math for your day-to-day -day development. It's really beneficial. I feel like, yeah, let's, let's learn it, let's teach it in schools. That's true. But don't pretend that you really need it. Just say that, all right, math is cool because it uh, will make your brain operate more efficiently. You will be able to solve some problems more efficiently in less steps than if you don't know that advanced math. But at the same time, just admit that you are not going to need that math in your day-to-day -day life as an app developer. And that also the more on the lower level that you go with programming. So if you write libraries yourself, you are going to need it. If you only utilize libraries, you are not going to need it. All right, and that's it for this video. If it helped you with deciding if you should learn math or not, if you should go on some advanced math course or not, I hope that it really helps you. And if so, give this video a like and also share it. If you don't want to miss more videos like this, definitely subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you are not going to miss any of my new videos. If you have any questions regarding this topic or anything else to say, if you have some suggestions for future videos, definitely leave them in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and see you in the next video.